blending um, technique and these are just kind of steps that I follow that I found were helpful for myself. It's probably different with everybody but um, if you are interested just keep watching. For this example I'm going to show you how to do my everyday eye look. It just consists of three colors so it's super simple. A transition color, an all over color, and a crease color. Before I zoom you guys in I'm actually going to show you what palettes and what colors I'm using. You can definitely substitute um, for whatever color you want for any of these um, for like the transition color, the base color, and the crease color. This one is by Smashbox. It's their full exposure palette. This one's really nice. I actually really enjoy using the matte row. Their matte shades are gorgeous. And for my example, I am going to be using this color here. It's kind of like this um, pale but like muted pink color. I don't think you can really, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but. So the other palette I'm using, which isn't really a palette, it's just something that I customized to my, to my liking. And I ordered these colors off of Coastal Scents. And the color that I will be using, well the colors that I'll be using are um, this. Let me just take it out of here and I'll show you the colors. This one's peachy copper and this will be like my all over color. And these are so buttery smooth and pigmented. And then I'm going to be using burnished wine. It's, I don't really know how to explain, like a bronzy brown taupe color. So that's this one up here. And that's my, um, my crease color. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom you guys in. So before I start, I'm actually going to do an eyeshadow primer on my eye. This is the one by Stila. And it's their, not Stila, I'm sorry. It's Benefit. It's their Stay All Day. Oh my gosh. Stay, don't stray. Eyeshadow primer. And I kind of like using this one because... It has this nice skin tone color to it, kind of like a paint pot. So I'm just blending that in, and I'm going to take a little more actually, and just on my finger I'm going to go right on the bottom lash line. So I'm just taking my crease brush, or my blending brush, and I'm going to dip it in here. And I'm going to go ahead and find where my crease is. And I'm just going to, with a soft hand, do some windshield wiping motions. And I kind of like to leave my eyes open because it gives me, um, it allows me to see how far, how far up I'm going. I don't want to take this all the way up. This is just a blending color, or a transition color, I should say. And the best way to do this is to just keep going back and forth. And if you need to look down, this also helps me. And then just really softly follow this line back and forth. I don't want to take it too high. And then I'm blending this out. And with the eyeshadow, I kind of follow the angle of um, the end of my brow, like the, way, the direction it goes. I'm just blending it out and down. But see how there's not a harsh line anymore? So next, after you have your transition color in, and you have it all blended, I'm going to start out with my um, all over color. And it's going to be this gorgeous, like, peachy pink color. And it has more of like a shimmer to it. 
And I'm going to take actually my eyeshadow brush from um, e.l.f. And it's their eyeshadow C brush. And this one's quite dirty because I use this one all the time. But I'm just dipping it into my eyeshadow. Tapping off the excess. And I'm just pressing it down on my eyelid. I'm going back with my shader brush here. I'm going to find where those two colors meet. And I'm just going to slightly do blend then I'm gonna take my crease color and I usually use a smaller brush which looks like this so it's like a smaller um, it almost looks like the C brush from e.l.f. but it's just a little tinier and I just pick up that color and I just pick up the color that I want and I kind of shade in my crease and also the outside of my lid. So this is what it looks like finished. The blending it really is just about the, what kind of brush you use and I think that incorporating a transition color really completes the, um, the look. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my eye makeup and I'll get right back to you. So here's the completed look. I'm sorry, but the, the lighting just kind of washes out whatever colors I put on. Um, but I'll zoom you in again and you can kind of see how everything's blended. But I mean, for the most part, there are no harsh lines, so it's super um, blended. So for myself, I feel that a matte eyeshadow gives the best transition color effect. Um, you can definitely use a shimmer. I just really prefer using matte. And then I also kind of chose something that had a, a similar undertone to my all over color. So because I used a more pink undertoned transition color, my all over color has a pink undertone. And then for my crease color, that really doesn't have to do much with it. My, the crease color just helps deepen the look and give your eyes a little bit of depth. I hope this tutorial was kind of useful. Again, I'm sorry about the colors that, I mean, they were just a little washed out, but you can kind of see the technique at least. Um, if you have any questions, just leave it down below. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and um, again, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!